All right, uh, this is in keeping with how do you generate plus and minus 12 volts if you uh, don't have uh, that really available to you. So you can buy these little boards on eBay. I, I, I have a couple of these. Um, they are claimed to be five volts in and plus and minus 12 volts out. So it's a little DC to DC converter. It only has one inductor. Um, and so it makes you kind of curious how they get both plus and minus voltages out. You, you whack up and down the, the uh, you whack up and down the um, inductor, and you can catch positive peaks with a diode and a capacitor. And I guess somehow you can couple that over with another capacitor and then catch negative pulses and convert that into negative voltages and stuff. So, um, yeah, do these things work? And uh, how, much, how much current do you think you can get out of them here? Um, so on the back, they're labeled, um, enable, uh, pin. Here's what we in, input at the bottom here, voltage in ground, and then plus V out ground and minus V out. And then an enable pin. If you just let the enable pin float, it operates. So I, I think probably you grounded or tight high or something to, to, uh, disable. It should be like a disable pin, uh, cause you don't have to do anything to it to make it work. All right. So let's go ahead and hook one up. Uh, so I have one connected here. I've got five volts going in and uh, so it's actually 5.1. Let me lower it down to exactly, exactly 5.02. There we go, five volts going in. And then uh, we will see what kind of voltages we can get on the output. <clears throat> okay, so we'll put a dummy load on it. We're getting 12 volts out on the plus V and uh, let's uh, load it down some, uh, 32 milliamps, 50 milliamps, we're still getting 12, uh, 100 milliamps, we're getting 12, 150, well, it's doing pretty good. Let's go up to 200 milliamps. I doubt that I would want to take that little inductor more than 200 milliamps, but we can, uh, we can ramp it up a bit, see if it starts to droop. That's starting to droop maybe at 230 milliamps. I don't want to blow it up. Not until the video is over. <laughs> so that's what the plus voltage does, the plus 12. I'd say it's a 200 milliamp part, something like that. So let me disconnect this because it's going to be minus voltages. I'm going to put it over on the V minus. And I'm going to turn the plug over uh, in order to get minus volts just so it's outputting minus 11.98 with no load and as we start increasing the load it's starting to drop right away so here's 50 milliamps 11.5 uh 85 milliamps 90 milliamps let's go to 100 milliamps 11.4 and uh let's see where it drops down to 11. yeah uh, 200 milliamps, it's 11.1. .1. Yeah, that's not, that's not very good. So on the minus side, what would I say this is really rated at? If you're running op amps, maybe 11 and a half volts, 12 on one side, 11 and a half on the other side. Let's put it right at 11 and a half. Uh, 11 and a half uh, volts, uh, 65 milliamps. That's still fairly respectable, not too bad. So yeah, this little device is, uh, might work. Um, I don't know how reliable they are when they start to heat up. Um, if you're pulling, uh, let's see here. What we should do uh, is pull them evenly. We should have a certain current on one side and a certain current on the other side. We're only pulling off one side of it right now. We don't know what the other side is doing. So. Let's go ahead and load the plus 12 at 200 milliamps, okay? Or let's do 100 milliamps. So 12 volts, 100 milliamps, we need 120 ohm resistor. So we'll put 120 ohms on this side and uh, see what happens to the negative side. All right, so I put 120 ohms on the plus 12, so we're drawing 100 milliamps out of there. And now we're looking at the minus. So let's draw some current out of the minus. And 
let's go to one and a half, 11 and a half, 100 milliamps. So if we have 100 milliamps on one side, 100 milliamps on the other side, it goes down to 11 and a half. So yeah, it's not so bad. I expected worse. Uh, so yeah, it's doing all right. While we go up a little farther, see what happens here. It's probably going to drop off pretty fast. Yeah, that's still not bad. All right, let's draw 200 milliamps. Then I'll put a, um, I'll parallel in another 120 ohms. And so we will have 200 milliamps on the, oh, my resistors are getting hot. <laughs> we'll have 200, 200 milliamps on that side and 100 milliamps on this side. It's still doing all right. And can we get 200 milliamps on the, no, it's dropping way down. So yeah, at 11 and a half volts, getting 100 milliamps. So there you go. Uh, let me just connect this. I don't want to burn up these resistors. Um, so yeah, 200 milliamps on one side, 100 milliamps on the other side. Uh, you can figure out whether the part is useful for you or not.